Chicago. It's good. I'm from here. It's a good thing to do. I thought it was smart talking about my family, Chicago. Come on, you can't beat that. The Hancock and Sears Tower. This whole special is just so Chicago like. It's fresh, man. You know what I mean? You can't get any better than this. People are here to see the Cubs. They're not here to see me. I thought they were all here to see me, but they're just like wearing cub shit to my shows. He believes it. I hope, I hope he's real. I hope this might be a prophecy. See, we don't play. Cubs in the blood, baby. It's in the fucking blood. Okay. Don't be cursing. I need to stop cursing. This hour has to be dedicated to, you know, talking about my dad being Nigerian. You know, just the African side of me. All right. Yeah, yeah. Time to eat. Time to get some African food. Palm wine. This is to the Wu-Tang Clan. He would always joke about my father, imitate him, say something that my father said. And that's where a lot of this comes from, him talking about him. And I mean, of course, you add a little exaggeration, but it's not that far from the truth, man, at no, all. No, it's not. It's not. My father was funny as funny. hell. <laughs> funny, man. Right? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> man, I was two years old to about 13 years old. This is my neighborhood. My parents moved here in 1972. Look at all these bikes. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> what is this, China? In this business, you need everybody. You need people to help you out. Some guys act like, oh, I did this all by myself. No, you fucking did it. There was a guy that let you up on an open mic back in 1995. He, no, someone helped you out. In a very small, small way, they helped you out. Your parents helped you out, letting you even go to these open mics. Your parents helped you out by giving you a fucking house to live in. This hour I'm doing at Up, it's ready to go, man. It's been a long time coming. Worked on this stuff for like 10 years. So it's ready to be out in the ether now and just like, okay, that material is done. And hopefully it gets popular enough where I, where people either go, oh, don't say that shit again. Or they go, say that shit again. Ladies and gentlemen, Please make it loud for Chicago Zone. Sorry, that music was African as fuck, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Should've been like, ah! <laughs> Even Africans in here are like, that is too much. <laughs> what music is that? I never heard that music before. Why is he screaming so much? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, listen. Um... I'm from here, Chicago. Just to let you know. And then I went to University of Illinois. Champagne or math? I remember college. Mm, I was a pre-med psych major. It was like, of course I was. Someone just said, of course you are. How's that? Stick that up your ass real quick and swirl it around. No. I was a pre-med psych major and shit, you know. U of I at the time when I was there, it was uh, about, uh, what, 45,000 students, 800 black? <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> Especially when the basketball team was away. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only one left on campus, god damn. Another game of hacky sack, ain't this a bitch? Yeah, 
But I was cool because I posed for the brochure. <laughs> Every college campus has, has a pamphlet with the diversity page. I'm the black dude with the fucking backpack. Along with my Indian friend, Raji. Yes! We started together! <laughs> and... It was... It was tough! Being all... You know, in my classes, the only black dude in every class. Hard to be absent. Hmm. Where's the little Negro boy we have? He's our quota. Mm. <laughs> yes, so that is what I did. And you know, I've been in New York for 16 years, man. 16 fucking years in New York City. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you, some of you all been in New York City. It's like Chicago, but on steroids. It's fucking dirtier. Rats are bigger. You've seen the rats, you seen the rats in Chicago? Go to fucking New York. They live in weights and shit. Like. Our rats are big as fuck! And it's like similar, you know? Subway shit, right? Subway shit. I have been. In, I, I wanted to, I was gonna ride the subway in Chicago. I was gonna ride it. I wanted to see if it fucked up still, you know? Is it, is it, see some people ride? See some people, you guys ride? Who, uh, is it still fucked up? Are you guys, are you guys, oh, I drive. I don't ever, I can. Is it still kind of fucked up? Like, ugh. Cause public transportation means public. Transportation, everybody. Uh, uh. It's always that motherfucker on there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is this going up there? Which way are you going? You mean your finger in your ass? How the, <laughs> how the fuck do they get on? Get him on! I have every right to be here. <laughs> they all sound like that. I ain't got him there. You, where did he get this voice from? Where the home? Is, is there a homeless acting school I don't fucking know about? It's always that what? Hey man, let me. I'm like, no. Oh, oh man, let me ask you a motherfucker. Why you gotta act like you don't know that man? I'm trying to ask you a motherfucker, and you gonna act like you don't need no better. Man, where you go? I'm like, shit! I should have left when he nodded. <laughs> <laughs> and, <there's>, and everybody, <laughs> you've been in a situation, don't act like you have it. <laughs> where you sit, you're sitting on the trainer bus. <laughs> and you hear that, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Not anymore. I don't mean to say any bad enough. I know I know Lizzie. <laughs> I know you know Lizzie. I'm not trying to get in by the way. Oh, and they come real close. All I'm asking. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not trying to touch anybody. And you're like this. <laughs> It's like, it's like when you give them money and they're like this, hey man, appreciate that. No, no, I, I threw the money at you. What the fuck did you think? Your hand has doo-doo on it. <laughs> Come on, give me five, man, give me that. Thank you. See, some of you are phony though. See, you know why? Because we're in the land of political correctness where everybody's fucking phony. So sick of this shit. You know what I mean? I'm not in the, I don't get in the mood for these panhandlers. When are you in the mood for it? When the fuck are you in the mood for it? When, when? When are you in the mood for that? Is there a day where you're like, I'm in the mood to be fucked with? By the, you know what I'm saying? And I've had situations, oh yeah. There's the racial situation where you got racial pressure. Maybe there's an African American on there and they, then they see you, and they look at you, you're hope. You're, they see you, they're like, oh, let me go over there and talk to that motherfucker. And you're like, and you're, 
You're sitting there in your seat like, oh shit, here he comes, here he comes. Oh shit. You gotta be a ventriloquist. Oh shit, here the fuck. This motherfucker gotta pick me, god damn it. And he's coming over there, oh man, Oh shit, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. And then they, then they get you too, because everybody is looking. You know, every uh, non-black person is like, oh, they all know each other. That's where it is. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know this motherfucker. And then they get you, brother, brother man, brother man, brother man, yo, bruh, bruh, break dog, brother man, brother man, yo, brother. They keep going, brother man. <laughs> I'm reading my tablet like this. I'm like, <laughs> brother man, brother man, you hear me, motherfucker, brother man. You hear me? La, 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 la. I'm like, I'm not your brother. <laughs> I'm reading Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> that's the tra I, that's I cause public transportation, that's a Chicago, New York thing. You ride it every once in a while, you know? And it's like, <laughs> cause in New York they have a lot of like uh, warnings and shit. Ever since 9-11, they don't fuck around. If you see anything, say something. If you see something, say something. If you see anything, you fucking tell us. <laughs> NYPD, we don't fuck around. <laughs> so, you know, and plus, if I saw something, I wouldn't say shit. <laughs> you know, the motherfucking terrorists be like, shit, you better shut your mouth. First of all, I love when they warn us about terrorism and all this other shit. Fuck that. You need to warn us about men. Men. Men are nasty. <laughs> See, everyone's like, yeah, sure, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> men are nasty. Warn us about men. Watch out for men. Fuck that. Watch out for men. Especially during crowded, <laughs> crowded hours. Watch out for men, because every man does this shit. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Fucking crowded and shit. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Fuck crowded and shit, my fault. Crowded and shit. She's kind of short. I'm sorry about that. Fuck. <laughs> like, get the fuck off me, man. My fault is crowded, y'all. It's crowded. It's fucking crowded, y'all. <laughs> but New York was perfect for me because it's so international. I mean, Chicago's international, but you know, New York is really fucking international. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's everybody speaks some shit. You know what I mean? You know, here you can be like, hey, I'm from Chicago. Oh, yeah, I'm in the car. I'm in the car. Go far. See the bears and the cubs. Hey, Tom, how you doing, Bob? I'm all right. I think. <laughs> get a hot dog from somewhere. Yes, yeah, get a deep dish pizza. All right, it's fine. That's fine. You know, and it's perfect because I'm an African. Yeah. Yes, I am an African, 100% African. Mm. I know you don't believe me because I have clothes on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you say you African, they want that Discovery Channel African. That shit. They can't imagine Africans being cool and chilling. Mm -mm. They want. They. <laughs> and you know, Africans in here. You know what I'm talking. <laughs> uh oh, everyone's like, oh god, oh no. <laughs> Tribal call. <laughs> and, and Nigerians be like, yes, that's right. We are here. We are here. Don't forget us. We are here. Nigerians will fuck up a show. Hey, say our name now. We are here. You just were walking past us. We are here for you. Say something. <laughs> I'm Nigerian, man, so I remember, I remember telling my, you know, when you tell black people in Chicago, I told my black American friends I was Nigerian. I remember that shit. I told them, like, they were surprised. I was like, hey man, you know, you know, I'm Nigerian, right? And you know, when you tell Southern people shit by surprise, their voices go up really high. 
they were like, oh man, are we, you, you, oh shit. You, you African, you say you African? You real, like African, African? You like speak African? Yeah, I speak the whole country. I'm gonna do it. Fuck. Like, yeah, man, you know, damn, I didn't know you was African, man. Shit. I thought you were like regular black. I was like, it's, fuck, it's regular black. You know, like Mississippi, Kentucky. That's regular black. You got National Geographic shit. Regular black? What the f regular black? That sounds like a Crayola color. That sounds like a crayon color. We have Oprah, Obama, and now regular black. The new Crayola colors, man. Look at that. Perfect. Fucking perfect. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. <laughs> Those are real crayons, y'all. Oprah, Obama, now regular black. Hundred percent African, yo. And you know, you never. You know, a lot of your friends test you. Even Nigerians be testing me. Anyway, like, hey, 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 you said you are Nigerian. Eh? It's always like some creepy shit. Eh? So I heard you on stage. Yeah, Nigeria. Where, where are you from? Where are you? Where, <laughs> where are you from? Where, 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 where are you from? Um. Hmm. That means shit in Nigeria. <laughs> hmm. You're Americanized. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> you know, because my, I'm like, my cousins, like, hey, I don't give a fuck. My cousins would try to come and visit me in New York. I'm like, hell no. Because I don't even fuck up my style. <laughs> They'd be like, Godfrey, we want to come and see you <laughs> in New York City. I'm like, not with that accent. <laughs> you will fuck all my shit up. Have yellow pants and a green shirt. Fuck that. <laughs> and they, and the way they, and then they would talk to women crazy. Woman, come here. <laughs> I like you. What are you doing? Looking at me. I can see you from here. <laughs> like you're not supposed to talk to women like that, man. This is a woman. I'm a man. She's supposed to be here. I'm a prince. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't no damn prince. That's what we like to say too. I am a prince. But I'm driving cab for now. But I'm a prince. I'm trying to raise money for my kingdom. And I would always tell people, they don't believe I'm Nigerian. I said, dude, call my parents' house, right? My father would pick up the phone. People thought they were talking to the Lion King. Can I speak to Godfrey? Godfrey is not here. Mufasa, <laughs> you are still alive. <laughs> Who in the hell is Mufasa? <laughs> then they start crank calling him because they don't believe him. <laughs> Hello? Azimbue, click. <laughs> That's why I don't ever worry about what goes on in America. I don't give a fuck. The news don't scare me. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh. <laughs> that scare me, man. Because I just go back to Africa, dude. That's why when people say go back to Africa, I go, I can. <laughs> I have African GPS. <laughs> Make a left here. <laughs> you couldn't have a Nigerian on a GPS. <laughs> you passed the destination. What are you doing? Turn around. <laughs> you can't drive. You can't drive. Go, turn around and do it over. <laughs> Make a left here now. Ah! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I go back to Africa. I already got a job hooked up. That's right. Easiest job. Weather, man. <laughs> In Africa, that's simple. And now time for the weather. Here is the five-year outlook. Hot as hell. <laughs> See you in five years. <laughs> oh, we don't have a news team. Because you know in America, we got traffic, sports, weather. We got the team, right? 
It's the same dude. Back to me. <laughs> there has been a shooting outside. We will go to a correspondent. <laughs> Thank you. The shooting was right here. Back to you. That was a good report. I'm telling you. Oh, man. Listen. Sucks having immigrant parents, yo. <laughs> it does. Listen. I mean, okay. Let me ask. I'm going to ask, right? I'm going to ask. So, uh, where are your people from? You clap. Germany and India. All right. I like that combination. <laughs> so, what are we going to do? Und eyes on. No. Combination. Do they have accents and everything? Oh, I love that shit. That's right. When your parents have accents, they fuck it up when they answer the phone. Hello? Put the fucking phone down. My parents used to fuck my messages up. Who, who is, who is, who is this? What are you doing, Dad? Turn. I pay for this phone. Nigeria? Where? Syria? Syria? You say Syria? All right, my man. I, don't be all serious. He's like, eh, Syria. <laughs> Chocolate man. Chocolate man. <laughs> Syria. <laughs> Why <are> you... <laughs> what? I love Middle East, but don't get that face. Uh, yes. <laughs> you have something to joke about? Eh? No more stand-up comedy. No legs for you. You don't. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Cool. I just wanted to ask because it sucks having immigrant parents. Let me tell you why. I mean, when you're growing up, you appreciate it, but when you got to hear your father talk about how much they struggled every fucking week, every week. I don't know what kind of father you grew up with. But I grew up with a father that didn't give a fuck how you felt. We had one of those dads who's like, listen, let me tell you children, I am correct all the time. You are wrong, it doesn't matter. If you disrespect me or your mother, I will kill everyone in this house. But I love you, but I will destroy your life. <laughs> Did you get beaten, Z Spanks? Spank? Hell yeah. I, yeah I, it's good, right? But spanking, didn't it help? Yeah. It helps. Oh, yeah. They fu oh, Africans, we, oh, it's the best. They, my, my father wouldn't even use full sentences when he whooped us. <laughs> but these parents now, because it's all this political correctness, you know, st you know <laughs> they sit there, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop, stop playing with your dick, stop it. And the little kid's like, fuck you, ma, fuck you. <laughs> Stop it. What did we say about rubbing penises? What did we... Wow, that was a little too long you let him do that shit. Yeah. I remember we got... We used to get fucked up. Remember, remember, everybody remembers that. I remember the... <laughs> I remember they would, my father would beat us so bad I would scream. I hate this fucking family. That's why I can't stand you. I'm gonna get another father. I don't get... But that would interrupt you. I don't get. I don't, I don't give a fuck about this family. That's why I'm a fuck. <laughs> you, you ever get whooped so bad you're in the mirror you start laughing? <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, now you got me laughing, motherfucker. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Fuck this family. That's how much we... <laughs> Don't ever watch us. <laughs> Cause I would get, we get beat so bad I had to see what I look like. <laughs> fuck up, fuck up. See the people that aren't laughing were like, when did that happen? That never happened to us. We just got time out. That was uh, that was uh, we just got time out. My father used to whoop in that ass. My mother would whoop us, I remember that. And then she's like, I will tell your father. We're like, no, you already whooped us, yo. <laughs> you know? And then my father would come and fuck us up, and my mother would be like, yo, killing the children. What the fuck? 
I'm like, you the one that fucking told him. You snitch, now you care about it. You had to tighten. <laughs> Shit. I remember when I got older, my father. You remember when you could take the whoopings? I was like Denzel and fucking Glory. Just one tear. I was like, I was like, Denzel, I told my father, yeah, okay, you can whoop me all you want, but I'm gonna keep taking it, all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. My father didn't give a shit. He would tell us the same story every week. You children, come here. I have to tell you something. <laughs> We're like, wow, what does he gotta tell us? It's very important. Important. <laughs> he liked to pronounce it very important. You children are lucky you are here in this country. We're like, oh man. It's 4.30 in the morning too, <laughs> shit. And you better be awake. <laughs> Me and your mother, like we didn't know who she was. <laughs> Came to this country. He was very dramatic, with no money. No money. <laughs> Came to the airport naked. <laughs> they asked for my passport. I said, here, take this. Like, really? <laughs> you really are the Lion King. Lion motherfucker, you didn't do that. And they always, like, immigrants always exaggerate. I came, we came one penny between us. One, no, you got $100. Get the fuck out of here. One penny. You wouldn't have made it here if you had one penny. So you say, you're here. You have no excuse to fail. No excuse. Okay? You can be whatever you want to be. Don't forget. You can be whatever <laughs> you want to be. And we're like, we like to be asleep. You, know, <laughs> you didn't say it out loud. My father beat your ass. <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be. So, you know, no excuse to fail. So one day, yo, on a bus, going to school, school bus breaks down, boom, it's cold as fuck out. I tell people how cold it is in Chicago, in New York, they don't get it. I go, you're not understanding. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> Chicago is cold as fuck. You can't even say fuck, you better. Chicago, even the weatherman goes, here's a five-day outlook, fuck. Back to you, bro. There's <laughs> a picture of Santa Claus with his finger up like, yo, Chicago, I don't care, you could be coming out of church. Fuck, what was that? <laughs> Sorry about that, holy shit. <laughs> Chicago's cold as <laughs> Walk downtown Chicago. <laughs> That wind is waiting for you. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes with his light jacket. Here he comes with his light fucking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cute motherfucker. I'm gonna teach him not. This will teach you for leaving your scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Chicago gets cold. I said, it's the kind of cold where the homeless have gone home. You understand me? <laughs> the homeless is like, I'm gonna change my life. God damn. <laughs> Woo! This is the kind of cold where you don't want to tie your shoe because you might get ass raped by the wind. You're like, yeah, you got your ass. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? The kind of cold where grown men are wearing mittens. I swear, if your man is wearing mittens, smack the shit out of him. Fuck you doing with mittens on. You're a grown man. Fucking men. You see my mittens? Yeah, it's right by your dildo. Fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? 
Why don't you pin them to your jacket, stupid, so you don't lose them? Like, women can wear, <laughs> women can wear mittens no matter what age. It looks cute. You look cute. Fucking man. Mittens on. Grown man. Put your hands in your balls. That's natural heat. You play football, stick it down there. You're good. What is it? I'm getting my mittens on. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> yo, I remember when I first, when I first moved to New York, it was in the wintertime. This big dude was giving me, I was trying to get to Times Square. Big dude with mittens on was giving me directions. I was looking at his mitten the whole time. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Fucking mitten on, man. It's like, he was like, yo, man, you, look, you lost, dude. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get to Times Square. I got you, man. Got you, man. <laughs> got you. <laughs> got you. <laughs> Yo, go straight. <laughs> Fucking grown man wiggling his thumb at me. I ain't gonna believe this shit. Make that left. Don't forget. Make that left. Make that left. I'm like, yo, take your fucking mitten off, dude. I make that left. You ain't no fucking left. <laughs> I'm like, yo, take your mitten off. Hell no, I ain't taking my mitten off. Yo, man, you an asshole, man. He's like, you an asshole, dog. <laughs> Didn't even take off his mitten to give me a middle finger. But he moved his middle finger around to let me know, just in case you don't know which finger, yo. That's how cold. Now, on a bus, school bus, the bus breaks down, going to school, pow. We hear the bus go, fuck it. Walk to school, like five blocks, man. Five blocks, man, to school. That's all, five blocks. But I felt like we suffered. I felt like I was suffering. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna tell dad, yo. I tell him, I just suffered. Fuck his stories. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was my father got home. Oh, uh! Couldn't wait to tell him. It's like, Dad, I don't think you heard. <laughs> Just told Ma everything. Everybody heard the story. You know, this morning the bus broke down. You know, it's cold as fuck out. Dude was driving with mittens and shit. Shit was crazy. We had to walk five blocks to school. This is when I knew my father didn't give a fuck. Because he would repeat what I just told him, but sarcastically. Wait a minute. So, what you are telling me is that you had to walk five blocks to school mm. in the cold. Did you make it? Come here. When I was your age, I walked a hundred miles to school. And when we got there, the school was not there, huh? We had to build the school right there. Get out of here. And you know, I told people in the 80s and 90s, yo, Chicago was the shit, man. Chicago was the shit. I'm telling you, we had, we had Oprah. Remember Oprah? She first came with a little afro and shit. I'm Oprah Winfrey. AM Chicago. That was a local show. Oprah Winfrey, Michael came. That's when the Bulls, we sucked. You remember we sucked. You remember those days of sucking, right? When Obama was around, but he was on, you know, he wasn't president. He was on the South Side going, I'm telling you, I'm going to be president. No, you're not. Uh, just don't smoke all the way. I'm not bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then Jordan came. Then Jordan. And we started winning. We started fucking winning games. They said, yo, this dude just scored 60 points, yo. He just scored 60. Who the fuck was that? This dude named Michael Jordan with his tongue out. Uh, who's that? <laughs> Licking people's head uh, before he goes up. No wonder they couldn't beat defense on him. Get out of here. <laughs> we all know the rest of the story. We got in that New York ass, 
right? Then the shoe came out. Woo! Black and reds came to us first. $200 shoes. Shit. I had to ask my dad. <laughs> Shit. I used to play parent against parent. Ask my mother first. Fuck that. Just soften her up real quick. Yo, mom, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get these Air Jordans, you know? Um, they're like $200. Ask your father. <laughs> I thought you ran this shit. Because our father scared us a little bit, you know? Put a little fear in our Every African father scares you, though. I, tried to, I, try, I would try to talk to him with a deep voice and shit. You know, I was like, Dad, check it out. Um, Michael Jordan got these shoes out, you know? These shoes, the new basketball shoes. Everybody's getting them. I want to get them. How much do they cost? What did you say? Ah! Ah! <laughs> $200. $200. Will they let you play? <laughs> Come here. When I was your age, we didn't have feet. Huh? I had to crawl to... A hundred miles on my belly. <laughs> no feet. Get out of here. I don't have to explain. You children are lucky you have feet. I don't. <laughs> this is my, uh, my father's favorite lie. Who is going to pay for this? <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. Just wake up. Who? He's <laughs> going to pay for all of this. You know, Africans are the only ones that want to have kids but get sick of you. They be like, you children are killing me. What do you had us, man? I, can't, I, I don't have money because of you kids. That's your fault, my boy. <laughs> Who is going to pay for this? Uh, you. I'm 10, my boy. I don't know. <laughs> Who is going to pay? For this. Because my friend Sean used to come over. Sean, he used to play baseball with me, right? He was regular black. <laughs> so my father didn't trust him. <laughs> Anytime my father didn't like a friend of mine, he called him that boy. That boy. And he always had that look like he can smell a fart, but he don't know who did it. <laughs> that boy that comes in my house. <laughs> like he can smell him. That boy. <laughs> when he comes here, I don't trust him. Hmm? He's American. American. See? He's American. So he has a knife or a gun. Hmm? <laughs> and one day, he will get angry at you, and he will kill you, and you will die. <laughs> and who is going to pay for it? <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean tell me you wouldn't pay for my funeral if I died? Come here. <laughs> when I was your age, before we died, we buried ourselves. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yes, we had to dig a hole very quickly, jump in and put the dirt over our bodies. Get out of here. Sometimes we didn't finish, our heart would be up like this. What are you talking about? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I was born in Nebraska and shit. <laughs> Everybody laughs. <laughs> he was born in Nebraska. Look at that mother. You act like I said, I was born in Nebraska. He don't hear me and hurt his head. <laughs> I can't help where the fuck I was born. What baby can control their fucking birth? Ah, oh, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Brooklyn, motherfucker, Brooklyn. <laughs> born in Nebraska. That's because, you know, Africans go anywhere for school. We don't give a fuck. Anything is better when your own country ain't shit. It's the truth. Your parents left because there was a war. You know that typical immigrant escape route. There's a war. 
So we had the Biafran War. My parents left. My father went to school in Nebraska to be a teacher, you know what I'm saying? You know, Africans will go any school. We don't give a fuck how white it is. It can be KKK University. We will... <laughs> African will be happy. I'm going to a wonderful school. Yes. <laughs> KKK University is a very good school. <laughs> My professor, Grand Imperial Wizard. Yes. He's a wizard, so he's smart. They invited me to a barbecue, but as I said, I can't go. They want me to hang around, something like that. I don't understand, but I had to work. I had double shift. <laughs> yeah, man. And I know, I know my father in Nebraska. I know they call him the N-word, man, and it wasn't Nebraskan. <laughs> But Africans take racism differently. We're different with that shit. You know what I mean? My father was more mental dude, you know, smart as shit. So <laughs> I know they were like, God damn it, what are all these damn niggas doing on this damn campus? My father, excuse me, sir. <laughs> it is Nigerian. You're pronouncing it incorrectly. <laughs> There's only one G. I understand. I know you are here, Billy, you can't read. It's a Nigerian, the G is soft. I don't know what nigga is, sorry. I don't know who you are, you know. <laughs> I understand the mistake, I, I can see. The G was you know, throwing you off. Yes, I'm telling you, man. Father was a teacher 45 years on the west side of Chicago. Malcolm X College, my pops, man, he was in the system. My father was in the system. Like, he was that dude, like, man, he, I, he wasn't afraid of shit. Damn, you know, my father, like, was around gangbangers and shit. You know, Chicago's known for gangbanging. You know, you know, they show it on TV, Chirac. Like, everybody in Chicago was like, pow, pow, you're dead, pow, pow. As soon as you get off the plane, pow. Even the, even, the, even the pilot like, oh shit, it's Chicago. Because, yeah, but you know, my father taught disciples, bite, all that shit. He didn't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. My father was like 5'7". I don't give a fuck. It's like a little action figure. And plus, when you come from a third world country, anybody knows here, this is, a, this is bullshit. This is fucking laughable. Please. Are you kidding me right now? Poverty in America? <laughs> At least there's fucking hope. You can go online and go to school out here. You can go on, you can go to school online. You don't even have to fucking leave. And you're still late for class. You fucking lazy bastard. All you do is press enter. But I really like when CNN shows Africans. Oh, I love that. I ain't gonna lie. Like CNN International, when you go overseas, it's better. They show Africans like going to banks and shit. Like we got money, we drive cars. <laughs> I'm being serious, it's normal. They show Arabs doing normal shit. They're not just always, <laughs> not doing that dumb shit. You know how America makes everybody else look like shit? That's their job. They make Africans just naked. Just, this is all we do, just naked. Fuck, you know, but I'm telling you, man, I love, I'm not gonna lie, I like that stereotypical shit. Every time they go to Africa, I go, oh, here it comes. They send that, I like when they send the British correspondent, they send a white to go to a dark continent. That's a good look. He looks more in danger. <laughs> and they send the British, we love British fucking accents. They send the British correspondent, it's always that dude he has that fucking perfect news hair. That shit is like. <sighs> and he's white British, fresh, fresh white. Not that tainted American shit. He's that Downton Abbey white, that fucking masterpiece. Hello, everyone, yes! You know what I mean? They're, they love sending them to Africa. They're like that white crayon in the, in the crayon box. 
It was always the sharpest because no one ever used it because it was so white. It didn't show up on the goddamn paper. It had its own compartment. Yeah, this is my compartment. It was... <laughs> I love those dudes because it's always like... And it, his name is Roger Rogers. <laughs> and he's in the Congo. There's been a militia, a militia takeover, and he's been there for three days investigating. <laughs> and they go, we're gonna go to Roger Rogers right now in the Congo. Like, Roger, are you there? Thank you, thank you, Jim. You're right, I'm here. <laughs> you can see behind me, the wreckage. I'm here in the Congo. <laughs> we're, the Congolese militia has shattered the dreams of the Congolese people. I love when they say this, I'm here in the daytime. <laughs> but at night, I'm not fucking here. His hair is still up, it's fucking human. His hair is standing up. Africans are like, how oh, his hair stay like that? Shoot it. <laughs> Then they always have, behind me is a man. He's one of the elders of this village. We'll be talking to him in a moment. His name is Umbele. And they always have some African dude waiting to be interviewed. <laughs> He's wearing a Scooby-Doo t-shirt with, with dress pants. You're like, where the fuck you get them Scooby? <laughs> with one boot and shit, like, they're even chilling. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, where are you? And then they always show the African talking, right? In the interview, he's always talking in his own language with interpretation over it. And they always look desperate. When I was a little boy. And this always happens when Africans are talking. Where do the fucking flies come from? You know what? Those were news flies. They were like, send out the flies. Send out the flies. Those are trained actor flies. <laughs> flies are just chilling. He's trying to talk. Out of here. Why is this? Why do you have flies every time I talk? Every time I'm on the news, you always put fly on me. I can speak English. Why do you always make me speak? <laughs> Mess up my Scooby Doo t shirt. <laughs> Roger Rogers in the Congo. <laughs> Tell you, man. <laughs> Nigerians are everywhere. Sports, fuck yeah. NFL, if you are NFL fans, you know we're a Nigerian. You know it's a Nigerian because our name comes right off the fucking jersey. Comes right off the jersey. I'm not lying. That was a good catch by Adeluku Muk. What the hell? Number 50. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Django. Fuck it. Let's just go there. <laughs> Adewale Kutukumbo makes the catch. They should have a Nigerian announcer. That, I, I will do it. Ade Tukumbo made the catch. I can pronounce it better than you. Like, everybody loves Africa, first off. A lot of people love Africa. Whites love fucking Africa. You little sneaks, I fucking see you all the time. You guys live in that bitch. I was in South Africa, right? I was in South Africa doing a comedy, some comedy shit, and they kept bothering us. It was me, Ari Spears, and Earthquake. And they kept saying, hey, you want to go to Safari? We're like, nah, nah, we're cool, I'm good. Fuck that, no. That was that black gene going, fuck that. I think that's in us, from Africans to Caribbeans, that we're afraid of shit, that's okay. I'm, I'm talking about a stereotype that is okay. No, we're like, nah, fuck that, no. They were like, no, you should go, it's good. No, it's not good. I don't want to fucking be by animals. I don't... You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> that's what we have. <laughs> <I'm a f> <laughs> you know, when I pet my friend's dogs, I don't fucking let it sniff my hand. I touch his ass. I'm like this, yeah. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> but my, all my wife was like, there you go, yeah. Let me smell it. Fuck that. 
And the dog's like, yeah, bring your fucking hand right here. I'll fucking bite the shit out you. I don't, <laughs> I don't play that, man. I'm afraid, yo. They kept asking us, and I go, you know what? Check it out. Why don't we just do this shit? We're in South Africa. We may not come back. <sighs> we finally did it, right? We're in the trucks and shit. You have to sign a little waiver in case you get fucked up. Yeah, it's like, in case you get fucked up, sign here. And there's a lion on the paper, like. And then there was these German dudes behind us, fucking excited. Und Eiffel, oh ja, oh ha lion, oh ha ha, das gut, ja, shut the fuck up. I can't wait, ja, und lion, ha ha. So we get in the truck. We get, I'm not even bullshit here. We get in the truck. Fuck, and the African dudes were hilarious. They were like, listen. Don't open the window. The lion will eat your face. He's like, white people always roll window. They always want to touch, touch, touch. We're like, we're not rolling shit down, dude. Have you ever been on this, this some army shit? Have, imagine these people here, all lions. That's how close we were. Fucking lions. Just fucking lions. We, ah, yeah. They deserve it. We were like, what the fuck? And there was a lion eating a horse leg, just chilling. We were, it was, it was, it was like, amazing and fucking scary. Like, why are you by lions? You're not supposed to be by them. You know, and they were looking at us. <laughs> Fuck! Cheetahs, all that shit. Fuck. We look back a couple yards away, German dudes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Fucking Germans ain't afraid of shit. Yes, lion. Oh, this is. A... I am not afraid of you, lion. You're a mere cat. Fuck. You think it's an accident that black dudes don't host nature shows? <laughs> Not even Steve Harvey. <laughs> he hosts every goddamn thing. <laughs> Can you imagine Steve Harvey? What's up, y'all? Welcome to Animal Planet. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Messing up my damn suit. <laughs> Whenever you see a safari go wrong, Who's the one surviving? The African that drove him there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mabudu, are you coming? I stay here. <laughs> no, you go, I come back and get you. <laughs> Fuck! You guys have that, I don't know. It's just, you have that gene, you don't give a shit. Right? It, what do you hear? What do you hear? <laughs> what is that? I, I, I'm like, what the fuck? Europeans, Anglos, whatever you want to call yourselves. Yeah. What did you say? He's lonely. Are you, are you lonely? You want to come home with us? I think that's what I hear. He wants some. He wants a sandwich. The fuck? I don't know what the white man hears. Dum 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 dum. I'm not afraid of shit. Dum dum dum. So I love about oh, the white man. I hug bears and shit. Dum dum dum. You do everything. You guys are fucking hunt sharks. All that shit. You get a black neighbor. Ha! Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my God, you scared the shit out of me. I didn't. Uh, you came up on me kind of fast. Holy shit. 
We just came from shark hunting and I thought you were trying to take our equipment. <laughs> Your fears are weird. Remember uh, Crocodile Hunter? Yeah. Oh yeah, I ain't feeling bad, that's all. See, that's a non-black reaction. Everyone's like, oh, guess what our reaction was? That's what you get, got your ass, <laughs> fucking around. Play too fucking much, you play too goddamn much, that ah, ah, ha. That was his, he fucked with animals. Crocodiles didn't call him and say, yo, come fuck with us. Right, you remember him? Every year he'd be like, look at this, right yeah? Yeah, look at this crocodile, right here. The little tight ass shorts. Oh, yeah. Look at this crocky. He's a big crocky, isn't he? Yeah, look at that. I put my balls on his head, yeah? yeah you like that? Tea bag you right there. <laughs> he almost got my balls. Then they got his ass. But it wasn't a crocodile. Sea pancake got him. You know, the crocodiles were all embarrassed. They had a meeting. Ain't this a bitch? <laughs> 20 fucking years, he been making us look bad. <laughs> and nobody can get his ass. But a fucking sea pancake fucks him up. <laughs> fucking stingray got him. Huh? Fucking with a stingray. I remember when we would see it at the Shed Aquarium. Huh? Yeah, me and brother and sister, see, we'd be like, what the fuck is that? Stingray, leave it alone. There's a word, sting, boo, something's up. It's not Ray Ray, it's not Ray Ray. It's fucking stingray. Yeah. And they interviewed the stingray on Gangland. I saw that shit. They were like, yeah, so the motherfucker was fucking with me and shit, so. You know what I'm saying? Because I swim like a little bitch and shit, so the motherfucker decided to fuck with me. So I'm tired of that shit. I wanted some respect. So I had to show that motherfucker. Crocodile ass motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Had to stab that motherfucker. You know he had to be fucking with because they're peaceful animals. They mind their fucking business. Crikey. Yeah. <laughs> Stingray. Remember, did you ever see Blackfish? You ever see Blackfish? Blackfish, that was about the killer whales. Here's another keyword, killer. <sighs> killer whale. That's, what the fuck do I do? I kill. Killer is a good description for what I do. You know what I mean? That killer whale, he killed the fucking trainers. Do you know what I'm talking about? Killed them. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm a killer fucking whale. I'm in the ocean, swimming in the ocean, free, killing shit. That's what I fucking do. Ten minutes later, I'm in a fucking swimming pool. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this bitch tonight. <laughs> bitch got me moonwalking and shit. I'm killing this bitch. Got me fucking pop locking. I'm a fucking whale. <laughs> Did you see the elephant that stomped up the circus? You see that? I laughed for 20 minutes. Have you seen it? He's killing everybody in the circus. It's amazing. You know, he, no, it's the guy just whipping him. He goes, Fur! I'm sick of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Fur! You too, motherfucker. Elephants never forget. I'm a fucking elephant. I'm the largest mammal on fucking land. I move trees. I move fucking trees. And now I'm on a tricycle. What's wrong? No, 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 something's wrong. Someone's gonna die tonight. There's two million tons on a tricycle. You gotta die. You gotta fucking die. I love when they say this. If you ever come in com uh, competition with a bear, you know? Have you heard that? If you ever come in competition with a bear, what do you do? What do you do? I'll never be in front of a bear. <laughs> Every brown person in here is like, what, what does that mean? <laughs> I'll never, ever... I don't know any black dudes like, hey man, you wanna go see some bears? <laughs> At Soldier Field, motherfucker? <laughs> he, 
That's a white. You know, let's go camping. I did that when I was little. Fuck that. And we stayed so I'm not doing that. Professional homelessness. Fuck that. I live in a house. I'm staying there. I fucking worked hard. I'm not going to be outside. I'm be in a tent. Yeah. They say, if you come in for a conversation with a bear, play dead. Ain't that a bitch? I think if you, sh listen, if, let's say, let's be hypothetical. If I, let's say I happen to be in front of a bear. First of all, I would shit myself. <laughs> Liquid shit. <laughs> There's a bear. <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> Wow, there's a bear. It's gonna fuck me up. There's a fucking bear. And I would run with my shitty ass like, oh, there's a bear. My boy was like, yo, will you just climb a tree? The fuck have you been watching, dude? A bear. Get you. Oh. I don't know what kind of bear does this. Maybe a black bear. I don't know. <laughs> black bear, because it's black. <laughs> play dead. The fuck is wrong with you? Play dead. You don't think the bear knows that you? You're, you're playing dead? You shit and piss your pants? And you don't think the bear's that stupid? your asshole you gotta still play dead ah! Ah! just play dead let him eat some ass ah! he's eating ass get out my ass <laughs> I can play dead oh all right <laughs> oh unbelievable you know let me tell you something my friends were um, preparing for the marathon. Oh God, they were making me laugh. We were at the gym. I was, they were like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm done preparing for the marathon. He was on, a, my friends were on a treadmill preparing for a marathon on a goddamn treadmill. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you? Um, I was like, um, you guys need to stop running marathons if you're not African. Cut it the fuck out. You know what I mean? It's all my fucking white friends. Stop. I don't fucking... I, listen, first of all, first of all, a Nigerian will never win a marathon. Anthropologically, we just won't. Too muscular. Can't do it. Big, big bodies. That's why we play football, basketball. We're sprinters. That's what I was in high school. And I remember my friend, all sprinters, he comes up to me, he's a white dude, Darren. He's like, yeah, man, we're the, we're the distance guys. <laughs> because we last longer. I said, nah, you're just mad because you can't run fast. <laughs> That's why you're in distance, you can't run fast. You know what I mean? I was like, yo, dude, but I'm telling you something, Darren. The distance is about to be taken over by my people. He goes, what are you talking about? The Africans are coming. <laughs> They're jogging from Africa. to America right now for practice. And then they go back. <laughs> because we're too big. Because because look at look at my big ass head. I got that. Look at we're, come on, West African. Look at our head. Look at just take a good look at my shit. <laughs> that ain't going fucking distance. That's why when we sprint, we lean in, our head gets too heavy. I can't take it. I stop. <laughs> we're too muscular. After 200 yards, we're like, <laughs> We can't, you know? It's not gonna happen. Even our language matches our head. I know, you're like, what? This is some weird anthropological shit. I figured it out. On the west side of Africa, especially the west, like the, Con you know, fucking Togo, Benin, right? Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Mauritania, all that shit. Our heads are big. Because our language is big. We speak like that. It takes a big head. I can close my eyes and go, that's a big head African. 
It's true. You know what I mean? We can't take it. But y'all, the marathon, 26.2 miles. You know what the record is? Guess what the record is? Two hours, 10 minutes by a Kenyan. Why is the flash still white? That's some bullshit. Usain Bolt's running a 9.500 meters. Why is the flash? I'll say it again. Where's this fast white guy? Who the fuck is he? At least give us that superhero. God dang. You know, we had our, own, our one superhero, but he couldn't pay his fucking taxes and shit. <laughs> Blade, shut up, fuckers. Where's your sword? I put it up for collateral, motherfucker. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You know what the record is? Yeah. Two hours, 10 minutes, and a woman from Ethiopia, two hours, 25 minutes. Okay. That's five minute mile for fucking two hours and some shit. You understand me? Okay. So the reason why they win, he said, why did they win? I said, look at them. They're skinny. Mm. Huh? They train in Africa. High altitude, huh? That's right, high altitude, no shoes. <laughs> they come to America, you give them shoes. They're like, wait a minute, this for me? <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> I only need one. <laughs> I give the other to my brother. <laughs> and their heads match their language. Smaller. In their language. That's a little head African. People don't realize Obama is Kenyan. He's Kenyan, man. He's a African. That's why he can campaign forever. He don't get tired. You see his long ass body? He's Kenyan. I'm surprised. Wouldn't it be great if the language is spewed out of him by accident. Oh, uh, now I know. I think I go, mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm half Kenyan, so sometimes. I think I go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Kenyans be like, Sid, Obama, speak to us, Obama. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. <laughs> I always wanted to be, I always wanted to be a fly on the wall when the Obamas first moved in. When they first moved in, I just wanted to be a fly on the wall when they first moved in. Because you know all those old presidential pictures were moving around like Harry Potter pictures. <laughs> George Washington almost fell off the boat. What the fuck? Good night, everybody. Thank you very much, Chicago. Thank you.